Welcome back to another episode of From the Gallery. For real this time, I'm here with Dakota and Max. There we go. And we are here to rate your guys' rides from the Fitment Industries Gallery. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. brother. So, <laughs> if you want to be featured in an upcoming episode, make sure to add your car to the gallery. Do it! Fitmentindustries.com forward slash add. Who's doing the thing? There is the thing. And then email us. You got this one? Yep. At shop at fitmentindustries.com. Yeah, that'll be way off frame, you freaking dingus. <laughs> and then subject line, review my car. You know, maybe say please. Please. Put please. some emojis in there. Please do it. We'll get you added to the list and get you on an episode. But we are going to take a look at four cars today. Give them a rating, one through 10. You Stance know the edition, maybe. Stance edition? Yep. All right, Stance I didn't see edition. the cars at all, so. Oh. Pick these up. Yeah, who knows? Well, well, who knows? I don't know. So we're either going to be roasting, or they're gonna be looking good. I don't know. Okay. See, I know. Are there any roasted. snakes? There's, there's a lot. There's no snakes, unfortunately. But there's a lot of strong feelings towards stance cars, <laughs> and I feel like uh, you either love them or you hate them, and there isn't that much is, in between. That is very true. So that is very we're true. Check them out. So before we go ahead and get into it, don't forget to subscribe. Wheels, tires, and suspension. Feminindustries.com. Add us on Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat. We got Snapchat and TikTok. It's far. <laughs> anyway, moving into the first car here, we have a two. Thousand Volkswagen Golf on some work VSKS. Yeah. Got okay. a staggered setup on this bad boy with some 17 by nine and a half negative 13s in the Ooh. front and a 17 by 11 negative 11 <laughs> in the rear on some airlift performance air suspension. Now, damn, dang, 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 a dang. This is uh, Mitchie Mark Force 2000 um, Volkswagen. So we got no spacers. Um, no over fenders. We got some removed or modified inner liners to get everything to fit. But other than that, that, we're looking at a stock body. This is a lot of camber, brother. This is a lot of camber. So does he, does he list? So suspension details, so negative 13 in the front, negative 11 in the rear. So is that the same? That's the offset. Is that the same as his offset or is he just, is he running that much camber? No. All right, so we have a black Volkswagen Golf. It's a Mark IV. Mark IV. I love the Mark IV Golfs on some work wheels. We got some camber, we got some air suspension. Dakota, I'll let you take this guy. Oh boy. All right, so this is interesting. This okay. is, I'm like, I'm actually a pretty big fan of stance cars, but yeah. This is pushing the limits. This is pushing the limits. In I also, what way? Like, so he has 17 by nine and a half, negative 13, 17 by 11, negative 11 <laughs> wheels yep. on a stock body. Yep. So he's pushing a, a pretty good amount of camber as you can see here. And then um, I kind of wish the fitment was a little bit better. Like the wheels almost seem a little too big. Okay. In, in the front, he, you know, he's, he's just laying out onto the tire and same with the rear, he's laying out onto the tire. I would really- he's got just a little bit of pulp. I would really like, and I don't want to see more camber with this sure. setup. So I'd like to see, I mean, with these wheels, you'd have to drop down a tire size, which he's already, oh my gosh, at 205, 205 on a nine and a half to a 235 on Not really an option, I wouldn't suggest that. So, I think the wheels gotta be a little smaller, and I'm a huge fan of the work wheels, but on a Mark IV Golf, I don't know if they, they fit necessarily, in my opinion. I think it's kind of an odd combination. However, um, oh, is it a TDI, bro? It's a goddamn diesel! <laughs> yeah, yeah! That's well, what I'm talking just about. Forget everything that we now just said. It's a <laughs> yeah. no, that, that's pretty dope though. I do like that. It's a TDI. You don't see those like the Mark IV Golf sure. TDIs like this too often. Yeah. So I'm just wondering where your hood dump is. First of all, <laughs> where's your um, hood dump? I yeah, do yeah, like. Doors. I like how he has the white wheels with the Euro taillights on a black car. I think that makes it look clean. Yeah. I love how this car looks from the rear. The front, I'm not feeling it needs a little something. The rear looks amazing. I'm done talking about it now. Oh, all right. Oh. Give it to Jelly. All right. So this is, it is quite a bit of camber, but I don't think it's excessive. I do agree that that front fitment, um, it is, it is just, it's really close. What about and the rear? Is, the rear looks really good, honestly. Really? I like the rear. It's not even sitting on the... It's damn close though. Like it's it's pretty close. But that front that front needs a little bit of help. But like you said, I don't think I would like to see more camber. I honestly I think it just comes down to like an offset thing. Yeah. Um the wheels are just a bit but too big. Honestly, I do I do like the wheel setup on this though. Like the, the works on here I think look really, really good. I love I like, like it's just weird with the Mark IV body. It doesn't match sure. in my mind. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Um I do like the color combo that he's got going on because he's got the white faces, he's got the polished lips, and then he's got like the clear tails and then it's just like it's very simple. It's very clean. Um 
honestly, I, I kind of dig it, but it's 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 pretty aggressive. All right, so first thing you look at this thing, um, kind of touching off what Jell said. I love the color combo. White and black always goes very well together. The camber is a bit too much for me, <gasps> especially since he's in the snow in these pictures too. I mean, it looks cool, yeah, but true. is that really gonna work out? Probably not. I mean, he, he actually got drives it all year round. Yeah, the snow. He, I, don't. I doubt that. He probably just took it out of the garage, like, oh, I'm taking pictures. Keep the salt and, off the uh, works though. Yeah, I mean, saying that, so some big lips to polish. The, the car is super, super clean, especially being a Mark IV uh, TDI. I true mean, that. usually they're rust buckets. So I yeah. mean, especially, yeah, especially, especially this, if you are somewhere with snow. Exactly. exactly. So seeing this um, makes it's me pretty happy. Good. And the fact that it's a TDI again, it's pretty dope. So, um, yeah, I don't really have any much more to say about it, but I love the car. Cool. All right, you ready to rate it? Rate it good. Yeah. Yeah. On three. I'm so torn. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think I think I got it. I got it. All right. Ready? One, two, three, seven. Eight point five. What Max say? Eight. Eight. Eight point five. The car, but he gave it. Ooh. Moving on. Okay. We have eight. Ooh. Okay. We got a 1998 Nissan 200SX. So whatever part of the world that this one is from. And then this is That Dutch Cookie. That Dutch Cookie. That Dutch Cookie, <laughs> 1998 200. So we got some Weds wheels. We got wheels, Weds wheels. 18 by Wed. nine plus 10 in the front, 18 by 12, or 18 oh, by I 10 plus 12, sorry. On some 215 35s, 235 35s, again on air suspension. This time we're running some AccuWare setup. This thing is pretty wild. All right, Max, you want to start her off or you sure, want? Yeah. Are you yeah, sure? I'll, you got I'll, this one? Yeah, I'll give it a try. <laughs> All right, before we go into it, it looks like we got some front wheel spacers of three quarter inches, fenders rolled. Um, then we got some aftermarket goodies for um, the exterior. All right, so anyway, uh, taking a look at the fitment here, it's real, real nice. Um, I like that it's on air. You know, the, the body itself is super, super clean. Um, it's not wide body, and which is nice. The paint looks immaculate, which is awesome. I love that uh, it, it's like a gray. It, it it just looks real nice, like it's overall blue, the color. Brother, is yeah, it blue? It's blue. God damn it, dude! <laughs> All right, you <laughs> start this. <laughs> <laughs> this happens to me every I time. I love that it's gray. It's not gray. It's not, it's gray. not gray. It's like a bluish green. It's, it's yeah, gray. it's like a really dark blue. Can you tell I just so, up? <laughs> now no. I can tell you're colorblind though. Um, Thank you. <laughs> No, so touching off of what Max was trying to say, I do really like the color. Like that is yeah. a really, really nice uh, dark. It's almost like a, was it iridescent kind of color? Like it's got like a little bit of purple, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green. Um, but I really like it. I think that fitment is absolutely perfect. I think it's a solid wheel choice for the car. Overall, this thing is just immaculate. I mean, it looks like it's just very well maintained. Yep. Um, it, it's just, it's pristine and I like it, especially for um, a Nissan. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, it's cool to see one in this color. Obviously it's been repainted and they did a really good job yep. from what we can see in the photos. Um, the fitment is perfect on mm -hmm. this and that's kind of why I chose this. It's interesting to see a car like this on air ride because normally they're all yeah. drifting, yep. ripping, um, but it is cool to see a stanced one. And I thought it was really cool how he was able to pull off this stance look with like absolutely no camber. Yeah, it looks like it's very just factory yeah. camber, um, which I really like that look. And to put it on air ride is different, and I I just really dig. I'd like I, to see a picture of like the interior and the trunk setup. Yeah, though. me too. It's kind of a simplistic approach. You know, he's got the aftermarket lip and stuff on there. The rear is nice, clean. It has big old can on the back. Looks good. Um, with a big car like can. this. I just like hand. the simplicity of it yeah. and the look. And That's really the wheels were a good choice too. Um, Especially with like that body style too. It's like you almost have to because yeah. they are like just a bit of a rounder car in mm -hmm. a sense. So I think keeping it simple, keeping it clean is the key um, for those guys. And then he has a 215 on an 18 by nine and then a 235 on an 18 by 10. So he's running a little bit of a stretch. Yeah. Nothing insane, but Probably a bit so of a stretch have just to, to get the, the, camber, yeah. the fitment. Yeah. Um, Looks like he has JDM rear bumper, custom side skirts, spats, custom grill, blitz exhaust, Air Force air struts, AccuAir E-Level, and the CVT air tank, which Ooh. is super quiet. Yeah, it's a super solid setup. I like yeah, this car a lot. All right, we ready to rate her? Yeah. All right, ready to eat? Ready to eat? <laughs> <laughs>
yeah. All right. I didn't have breakfast this morning. All right. Ready to rate this car on three. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I'm ready. All right. You got a number? Yeah. All right. You good? Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Nine. nine. Sandwich. Oh, nine. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> Tuna sandwich. <laughs> All right. Moving on to car number three. We have a 2007 Ford Mustang. Oh, it's a convertible. Oh, the convertible <laughs> Mustang. Kyle's love it. It's going to be a uh, ready. It's okay. So it's on some Heritage Abisu directional EXLs. 20 by 10 plus 18 in the front. 20 by 11 plus 40 in the rear on some airlift performance air suspension. Uh, now this is unaverage Stangs. You got that right. Uh, Ford Mustang. We got 5 millimeter <laughs> spacer in the rear. Uh, fenders rolled and pulled. Uh, but it looks like we got some good clearance. It doesn't have any issues with rubbing or anything like that. And then suspension details, two inch extended for performance, lower control arms and tie rods. So I'd imagine that's just to kind of help dial everything in here. So I'll go ahead and start this guy off. We got some interesting exhaust pipes coming out the back there. <laughs> Taking a lot of- uh... Do you love it? What is that? <laughs> oh my that, god. It's on average. It is on average. I'll, I'll give them that. I'll give them that. I think I think the Heritage Abisus, I think it is, it can be a good choice for this car. I don't know how I feel about the 20s on it though. 20s, baby! I think maybe 18s or 19s yeah. would be a little more um, of a personal choice in my it's opinion. It's a stance edition, baby! <laughs> I, I know, I know. He, he's got the perfect fender to lift fitment on the front, right? Let's take a look at the back. Um, looks like we're poking just a tiny, tiny bit in the rear. Um, maybe if he went down a tire size, what are we running on the rear? We're running a 245 on an 11 wide. So maybe. Oh, yeah, you have a little bit of meats on there. Yeah, you don't want to be yeah, squirrely and get into exactly. a crowd or something. <laughs> yeah, I hate to have that happen. And then um, looks like we got the nice little, little spike shifter on there. We got some interior spike stuff. Spike shifter. Oh, spike shifter. Spike those, shifter. Those I hardly spikes. know her. I it's I'm just going to say I don't like it. <laughs> it's I the exhaust like <laughs> is on average. <laughs> is it a V6? Uh, well, he's got Shelby badges and the GT500. Um, so you could be lying. Oh, I don't know. Are you calling him, calling him liar? I'm not calling you a truther! <laughs> <laughs> um, not a, like a huge fan of convertibles, I'm sorry. But yeah, I mean, I, the stuff I that he's- done yet. The, the stuff that he's went with is a solid choice. So he's got the aerial performance, he's got the heritage wheels, they're a multi-piece wheel. Like he's got some good stuff going on. Just not my taste. I'm gonna give you an A for effort because you definitely put it in the effort to make the car dope. But- Oh, it's dope? Dope. Dope. <laughs> oh, okay. It's but, dope with quotations. But Max that being points. said, I hate it. Oh! Okay. oh Jesus. Convertibles suck. I hate convertibles. Mustangs are just not my thing. You're my neighbor has Mitsubishi like Outlander, three brother. of them. I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> you said he used to have three of them? He, my neighbor has three. Oh. Three yeah. convertibles oh. or three Mustang convertibles? Three Mustang convertibles. That's very specific. Oh, no, he has two Mustang convertibles, one GT500. Oh, come yeah. on. Did he give you rides in them? No. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> anyway. Ate them. They're quote unquote dope. Anyway, <laughs> oh. the, her the heritage wheels look really nice. Air suspension is, you know, it, it's cool, but it'd be better for your static. So, you know, because it's a static game. Not what you just said with the last car, but it's, right. so, yeah, I, it's so hard to figure out what Max likes. I know. <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> it's very inconsistent. The interior looks okay. I don't like the orange steering wheel. The seats are nice. But yeah, yeah, I don't know about this one, man. It's it's interesting. Okay, it's on average. Let me see this. <laughs> the the out. You're not gonna be welcome back on this. All show right. Again. So <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of this body style Mustang. Okay. I'm even less of a fan of convertibles. Okay. So well, what that about, combination. What about what's done with the car? Though? So for the look <laughs> he's going for, I think the 20s work. They are a bit big. Really? I think okay. 19s would be. More ideal. Better, okay. yeah. Um, but 20s, they don't look bad. They look all right. Um, I really like the side skirt extensions he's got on there, the lip on there, like the fitments on point. And I respect him taking this and trying to make it unique right. and different and what nobody yeah, does Max. with the Mustangs. Okay, I never it sucks. Said, I hate it. I never <laughs> I mean, I didn't respect it. It's just not uh, my taste. So this guy, you know he takes it to the car shows and he's got them older folk just like, what the hell you do to that Mustang? Why'd you buy that? Rice burner? 
That's what I imagine it is like when he drives us to the car shows. Absolutely. Um, but I, I don't think it's that bad. It's not what I would do with a Mustang. And yet the red is a bit excessive on the interior. I don't mind the shift knob. I think that's kind of cool. Um, the exhaust, I don't think is as bad as you guys make it. I think with a custom diffuser, that would really help. Yeah. Because it's I think just kind of It's just kind of like there, then, right? Yeah, it's like hanging down. Yeah. It's like... Yeah. But it's unique. It's, it's different. You don't see this. Mm -hmm. I think if time. it was maybe like angled upward, it wouldn't be so bad. But the fact just, that it's like kind of like, down. I think it needs just a custom diffuser to go with it. The okay. stock diffuser, it's not working too yeah. well. So I can understand that. But sure. if it had a custom rear diffuser, I think that would really bring it together. Like I said, Fitman's on point. I like the color combo with the wheels mm -hmm. to the color of the car. It makes it really pop. And I dig it. Um, but yeah, like I said, not a huge fan of convertibles. Not a huge fan of this body Mustang. style of Mustang. But I respect the hell out of it for just doing something different and uh, being out there with it and trying something. So, is my favorite Mustang? No, probably not, but it is a Mustang. All Anyways. right, are we ready to give this guy a rate? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You ready? On yep. three. One, two, three, six. Seven and a half. All right. What'd you give it? Six. Six. You both gave it oh, six. Oh, okay. Yeah. I All right. Go I thought you were going to say one. <laughs> yeah, like no kidding. All right, moving on to our fourth and final car of the day. We no. have a 2009. Um, this is a hype daddy car. Where is the car? Right <laughs> there. Oh, John Cena's driving. All I see is Cosmos Racing. Oh, that's right there. Really? Right. He's got to look closer. Sounds He's got good. the bait camo. Oh, on oh it. okay. Gotcha. Got the gotcha. bait <laughs> camo. You see, it's a joke. It's the closest thing you can get to a gorilla <laughs> on a car. Is that why you picked it? No. Oh, no. damn it. All right, so it's <laughs> got this racing XC206R, 17 by nine plus five on some air lift performance air suspension. Oh, dang. So we got some, I didn't see, I, that must've been a rolling shot. Too bad, we should've got some more static cars in here, but. Yeah, well, we're gonna get, we're gonna get torn apart. These why do you have those static cars? <laughs> Fifth cars, get me out of here. <laughs> Alright, sorry. I just was going through the people that sent them in. <laughs> just air, 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 air. I'm not upset. All right, static guys. I'll let, I'll let Dakota start this one. Let's go, baby. All right, so this, whose is it? Oh, we didn't get that. All right, this is underscore jabs. Jazz? Jabs. 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 No rubbing or scrubbing, fenders pulled and rolled, 22 millimeter spacers on the front and the back. You know how it Dang, be. Son. All right, so we got negative 12 camber in the rear, negative four in the front. Woo! Bruh. That's a lot of camber in the rear. So, it's like a. Let's check it out. I don't, it's very much a hype mobile. <laughs> I think hype mobile. Daddy. The XT206Rs looked up on there. I'm not a huge fan of the rap. I'm okay. I get it. Like he's going for the bait look, getting the, yep. the hype look. I, I understand what he's going for. And if he's all about that, then cool. But I wouldn't wrap my car. Sure. That. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, it's a bit much. I mean, maybe you should have did the, the, I mean, it's already been done a million times, but the halfway down, then it'd be a little bit less sure. of it. Sure. Um, but Overall, the, the fitment is really on point. When he airs out, it looks damn good. I yeah. like the uh, lip he's got on there. Side skirts look good. I'm trying to find a shot of the rear. Do we have any shots of the rear? Oh, there's, right there. there's a quarter shot. It's a little bit blurry. Hey, that's like that's like right in there. Yeah, so the fitment's on point. He did a good job with that. He is running a lot of camber in the rear. If he could pull some of yeah, that out, that would be cool. negative four to a negative 12, like that. Yeah. <laughs> It's a bit it's much. drastic. Um, I do like this body style Civic mm -hmm. SI. I think mm -hmm. they're dope. Um, yeah, I just, I'm not, the wrap is too much. It's chilling it. Okay, it's all right, all right, Max. All right, let's hear what you have to say. Okay, I actually don't mind the wrap. The wrap, it, you know, it's pretty dope. Cause- Will you do I'm a rap just, about the wrap? If I could rap, yeah. Do it. Freestyle. If you could like wrap a car, do it, do no. it. come on, come on, no, come I'm on, do it in here. <laughs> not I'll, do it. Do it I'll do it later. I'll do it later. <laughs> I'll do it later. <laughs> All right, I'll my phone. All right, so it is a Civic. That's it is a Civic. Yes. It is call. a Civic. <laughs> but I mean, like Civics, you can get for a pretty good deal. So, and the fact that he has, you know, Cosmic racing wheels on it you makes it ten times better because I love Cosmos. Huh. Um, and like air suspension, it's dope. I mean, like, I would never, I don't know if I could ever run air suspension though, because I just don't trust myself enough to run air suspension. I don't trust you. Either. So, exactly. I don't so. trust you to run a low static car either. Yeah, me neither. You saw <laughs> what happened you last just time. just walk places. It no. wasn't even low. <laughs> it wasn't. Stop saying it was dumped. <laughs> it wasn't low. Put a picture at all. of the, We will put a picture yes. of his Lexus. Yes. His dump <laughs> Lexus. Let's, right let's here. bring the quotes back. Dumped. All right. Dumped. There it is. Right. Uh, anyway. That's Max's slammed <laughs> static car. Scrapes everywhere he goes. <laughs> anyway, Poor so 
I love, um, it looks like you got a little bit of a lip going, or lip kit going on yep. here. Um, a little bit of side skirt, so that looks real nice. Negative 12 in the rear, a little aggressive. Um, it goes from negative four to negative 12. I mean, that's you know, a little bit too much, but I, I can see where he's going with this. Um, the fitment looks pretty decent. And yeah, overall, I mean, you know, I, I, I like the car. I mean, I'll, I'll, give, you, I'll give you that, you know. Yeah, I like there. the car, I'll give you that much. I'll give you that much give for you free. That much. All right, so I think with the wrap, I don't mind it being like that camo wrap. I think what it is, is that it's, the pattern is very small. Yeah. So it takes so much of it to like, Fill the whole car, right. and it's just it's just a lot. It's too there, much. There's too much going on. So I think if it was maybe like a bigger pattern, yeah. I wouldn't mind it as much because I think the I color, I think the color and everything looks good. I dig wraps. I dig camouflage wraps. I think this just the pattern. It looks like a Christmas be, present. It, yeah, it, it does. Yeah, it looks I, like it looks like a like wrapping paper. Yeah, when I first saw the car, I thought it was like a Christmas wrapping paper, <laughs> like video, you know. But I think the XC26Rs uh -huh. are a uh -huh. good choice. Uh, Airlift is really good. I honestly do really enjoy the car for the most part i think running the was he running a plus 22 all around in the rear i just don't think it's necessary i think you could get like a really good fitment with that or maybe just even a smaller space we yeah. don't need a plus 22 um because that is a lot of camber and i think personally not having it match the front and being like really aggressive in the back just kind of throws off a little bit but honestly yeah. that's really those two things the wrap and then and then that rear camber is really the only thing I can really nitpick because everything else does look good. And mm -hmm. I do like it. I like that style. Um, I've always wanted to do this to a, like a Civic for something because like Max said, you can pick them up relatively like pretty cheap and just kind of have fun with them and make, you know, just a, a really nice looking car. Other than that, yeah. Give her a rate. Give her a rate. Like okay. I'll tell you that much. On three? Yeah. All right, one, two, three. Eight Seven. and a half. Nine and a half? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. What did you say? Eight and a half. Seven. 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 You don't like it? It's just all right. Rap just didn't do it for me. <laughs> Just not a All right, we'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode from the gallery. Don't forget if you want to be featured in an upcoming episode, uh, I won't have Max here. Um, so you can just tell <laughs> yeah, me that your exhaust sucks and that yeah. your car is gray when it's blue. I love air suspension, but <laughs> static is the best thing in there. <laughs> Great. Add your car to the gallery, fitmentindustries.com. Then shoot us an email, shop at fitmentindustries.com with the subject line, review my car. We'll get it added into the list. Hell yeah. And we'll take a look at it. We'll talk about it. Live streams Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Be Follow there. us on Snapchat. Be square. All that clinical stuff. I'm Jills. Bye. Dakota. <laughs> Max. Bye.